Right. Um, yesterday we are learning the last concept, uh, subtraction of vectors. If I have a vector like this a bar, another vector is b bar, then I have to subtract these two. I have to take a bar and take the negative of the second vector. Then I have to draw opposite vector. This is minus b bar and this is a bar minus b bar. A bar minus B bar, okay? So this is yesterday I told you for the last uh, few minutes, okay? And what about how you can do with parallelogram law of vectors? So magnitudes of A and B are given to you. For example, modulus of A bar is 3 units and modulus of B bar is 4 units. Angle between both is uh, 60 degrees. Angle is 60 degrees. So this is one vector and the other one is this. This is 3 units, this is 4 units and this is 60 degrees. First he will ask what is modulus of A bar plus B bar. Root 3 square plus 4 square plus 2 into 3 into 4 cos 60. Cos 60 is how much? Half. That is what now we derived yesterday. Parallelogram law of vectors. Root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. So this 2 got cancelled. And root 9 plus 16, 25. 25 plus 12. Root 37 units is the answer, okay? Nearly 6 point. Now he, if he asked what is a bar minus b bar? What is the magnitude of A bar minus B bar? So first A bar is like this only. A bar is 3 units. And minus B bar I have to draw like this. Magnitude is 4 only. But now the angle between two vectors is 120 degrees. <sighs> now, um, what is the formula of parallelogram law of vectors magnitude root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 120 you have to take what is cos 120 minus half so you just remember that uh, if the angle between a bar and b bar is theta between a bar and minus b bar angle is uh, what is the angle 180 minus theta is the angle okay uh, this 2 got cancelled this is root 25 minus 12 what is this root 13 units note down this example so find a bar plus b bar as well as what is the question find magnitude of a bar plus b bar as well as magnitude of a bar minus b bar a bar minus b bar resultant ee rendu ki majjalo untadi ila but towards 4 like one person is pulling with 4 newtons force and another person is pulling with 3 newtons force resultant will be towards this person if both are pulling with 3 newtons resultant will be exactly at the center are you understanding now the resultant will be towards 4 and how the resultant of these two like this somewhere like this okay that is the resultant he is not asking the direction only magnitude of the resultant he is asking so just I have taken the magnitude formula I have not taken the direction what is the formula for direction tan alpha is equal to b sin theta by a plus b cos theta theta is the angle between two vectors Theta is the angle between two vectors and alpha is the angle made with resultant with uh, A bar. Okay, we will see that uh, angle direction later. First, magnitude. Write down this magnitude. Hmm. So, Sunday there is an exam uh, and uh, for Telangana students, they conducted one exam. They are one week ahead of you. Based on the same syllabus. 
I will give that paper to you as a practice. Okay. Mm, the same question paper will not come to you. Okay. For Telangana students, uh, some 14th uh, they started the classes. But one week later, uh, one week, uh, 24th we started. Uh, we started the class on 24th. So they are a bit uh, faster. Okay, maybe they will merge, merge these two because somewhere they will merge. Okay. Uh, so this I am erasing and this is modulus of uh, A bar minus B bar. That means angle only we need to change. Angle between uh, if uh, A bar with minus B bar if I am adding then angle is 180 minus theta. 120 degrees I have to take not 60 degrees. Cos 120 is minus half. Okay. Shall I erase this? Okay. Mm. Okay. Sorry. Next. Right. So, can we, uh, we, we discussed about uh, this um, triangle of vectors. Suppose, another example I will take. Suppose I have uh, three units vector like this and another vector is like this. Four units vector. What is the resultant of these two vectors? Five, na? what is parallel magnitude resultant and addition a bar plus b bar and root 3 square plus 4 square plus 2 a b cos 90 cos 90 is 0 okay this you are getting it as 5 okay or simply by using triangle la triangle la you can draw the diagram first vector you draw and second vector you draw like this this is 3 this is 4 and this is the resultant this is hypotenuse, na? Hypotenuse is nothing but 5 units. So, you cannot use the triangle always because here it is 90 degrees, then it is easy for us for calculating that hypotenuse. So, that's why this, this parallelogram law you can apply for any angle. Cos 90 is 0, okay? This is cos 90. So, triangle law we can apply it when the angle between two vectors is 90 degrees. Hmm? We can apply at any time, but calculation becomes easy uh, when the angle between two vectors is 90 degrees. Note down this. The angle between two vectors is 90 degrees. What is the sum of these two vectors? 4 plus 3 is not 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3, when it will be 4 plus 3? Cos 0 if, if you get cos 0 is 1 ok mm. shall we go for the next one ok few more problems I uh, will give This book, uh, DC Pandey, and uh, this is HC Verma, Concepts of Physics. Okay, and uh, er Erdo also you can have, but not at this time when we entered the kinematics part, mechanics. Uh, okay, and then uh, uh, you are having the integrated material of Chaitanya as well as objective material. Okay. So I will be doing from these books uh, and you do the homework from those books, from your uh, material. Okay. Even I discuss uh, the material questions. Okay. Well, some of you might have purchased the material. So, 
question is this. Tell the um, tell the answer. What is the angle between two A and four A? Zero degrees. What is the angle between three A and minus five A? One eighty degrees. Three A and minus five A. One eighty degrees. Mm, next one. This question: uh, Two vectors having magnitude uh, six units and eight units. Two vectors. Just one. Mute the bit, comma. Uh, two vectors uh, having units and uh, six units as the magnitude, and uh, B bar is eight units. Okay. Now the angle between two vectors is zero degrees. Angle between two vectors is zero degrees, one eighty degrees, and then sixty uh, degrees, one twenty degrees. Okay, and the final thing is ninety degrees. So what is the resultant uh, A bar plus B bar? What is the uh, is the magnitude of resultant? In the first case, what is A bar plus B bar? Fourteen units. Fourteen units together. Fourteen units. You have to just add them. Two vectors are parallel. You have to just add them. Okay. Uh, a square root A square plus B square plus two AB cos zero. Cos zero is one minus root A plus B whole square. You will get A plus B. Okay. Next step. 180 degrees. 180 degrees means one vector is like this, other vector is like this. You have to subtract them. And the modulus of a bar minus b bar is you have to subtract these two. Two units. Two units along this direction. Okay. Next third question. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Uh, what is? No, we have to a bar minus b bar. A bar plus b bar only, but the angle between two vectors is 180. A bar, A bar is like this. B bar is like this. And angle between two vectors is 180. Cos 180 is minus one, na. So you can directly have this. This is eight. This is six. The resultant is two. Okay. Or you can apply that root A square plus B square plus two AB cos 180. Cos 180 is minus one. A minus B whole square under root you will get. What is A minus B whole square under root? A minus B only, na. That is two units. Then what is this modulus of a bar plus b bar for 60 degrees? 60 degrees. Root a 6 square plus 8 square plus 2 into 6 into 8 cos 60. And this is root 64 plus um, 3600 100 plus uh, what is this 48? And the root 148 is the answer. Okay. What about cos 120? Cos 120 is minus half. Cos 120 next day. A mod a bar plus b bar at uh, 120 degrees. So 100 minus 48 you will be getting. 100 minus 48 is how much? 52. Uh, root 52 is the answer. Uh, what about cos 90? Cos 90 is zero. So fifth answer will be modulus of a bar plus b bar is root uh, 6 square plus 8 square. That is 10 is the answer. Okay. And what about um, root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 90 cos 90 is zero. So ultimately you are getting root a square plus b square. So that is 10. Okay. Note down this. The same question uh, you have to find a bar minus b bar. If a bar minus b bar, a bar minus b bar is two units, and uh, if the two vectors are one eighty degrees, then what is a bar minus b bar? Then it will get added up. And a bar minus b bar is in this direction, na? so that will get added up. So see the question whether it is a bar plus b bar or a bar minus b bar. He is asking. And if both vectors are what one uh, degrees now, what is a bar minus b bar means? Minus b bar will be like this. 
So you have to add, add both the values. So 14 will be the answer for this at the 180 degrees. Uh, when A bar minus B bar is asked. Okay. Next, fifth, uh, one more question. So I am just erasing this. Okay. You remember the formula no? root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Okay, then uh, one more question. this. If mod a bar plus b bar is equal to mod a bar minus b bar. One more example mod a bar plus b bar is equal to mod a bar minus b bar then find the angle between a bar and b bar that is the question then find the angle between a bar and b bar so what is this formula root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta is equal to so, if uh, angle between A bar and B bar is theta, angle between A bar and minus B bar is 180 minus theta. Is it clear? This is A bar and this is B bar. And uh, this is minus B bar, okay? Between A bar and minus B bar, angle will be 180 minus theta. Now, you tell what is the result magnitude of this. A square plus B square plus 2AB cos 180 minus theta. I have to find theta, okay? Angle between two vectors I have to find. Squaring on both sides, what I have? A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta is equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cos theta I will be getting. Okay? This A square and B square will get cancelled on both the sides. 4AB cos theta is equal to 0 cos theta is 0, that is theta is 90 degrees. Okay, note down this. When the magnitude of A bar plus B bar is same as A bar minus B bar, when both the vectors are perpendicular. This is A bar and this is B bar. And between A bar and minus B bar also, magnitude of uh, resultant will be same. Okay, so angle between two vectors should be 90 degrees. So we can derive it like this. Okay. A bar plus B bar mod A bar plus B bar is equal to M H dama mod A bar minus B bar. What is the angle between two vectors and a Theta find out shall you have to find theta. If A bar, if the angle between A bar and B bar is theta, what is the angle between A bar and minus B bar, 180 minus theta, no? that only I wrote it here. Okay. Magnitude of B will not change, magnitude of B will be same. If minus B, if minus B and this go, you don't take this as minus B. Already I am mentioning in the angle. I am mentioning there in the angle. No, don't take this as minus B. Do it. Just take the magnitude. B is the magnitude, value. Okay. Next, just I'm raising this. Right. Now we'll go for writing a vector in terms of its components. Rectangular components, okay? Rectangular components of a vector. Okay, right. Side heading, put the side heading here. First, I will go with uh, two-dimensional vector, and then we will go for three-dimensional vector. First, two dimensions, okay? 
there is a vector in the xy plane and it is r bar and here is the angle made with the x axis made by that vector with the x axis okay now i am interested in finding out what is the magnitude of the vector along x direction what is the magnitude of the vector along x direction i drop a perpendicular here and find out the value of this this is some uh, adjacent side i will write adj and that is nothing but rx this is called the x component of the vector rx similarly i want the y component what is the value of r bar along y direction and that is ry okay this length and if this length is same as this length this is ry and the magnitude of this is modulus of r bar is r let modulus of r bar is r this is two dimensional case first i am dealing huh? so what is cos theta cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse then what is rx rx is r cos theta and similarly i can find r r r y your sin theta i know opposite side by hypotenuse then what is r y r y is r sin theta so if if i know this these components of a vector along x and y directions i can express this vector as rx i cap plus ry j cap this i cap and j cap are the unit vectors along x and y directions i even k cap is also there or unit vectors along x y and z directions along x y and z directions okay so ultimately i can express a vector in terms of the rectangular components so one is r cos theta and one is r sin theta r cos theta is called horizontal component and r sin theta is called vertical component note down this So next, uh, I'm just erasing this. If this is alpha and this is beta, r cos alpha into i cap, r cos beta into j cap. You can write like that also. If this is alpha and this is beta, and in this direction r cos alpha, in this direction r cos beta. You can write like that, huh? Uh, so what is this? This is the horizontal component of the vector, and this is the vertical component of the vector. how much of that vector is along x direction and how much of that vector is along y direction they are called the components of the vectors okay suppose we need to find how much uh, the car got accelerated along x direction or along y direction so i need the component of that force along x direction then only i can calculate uh, uh, ax acceleration along x direction So I'm just erasing this, right? And in a three-dimensional plane, uh, we have if a vector is there in 3D plane, if a vector is there in three-dimensional plane, three-dimensional space, space analog, three-dimensional space. it has three components i can write like like this rx i cap ry j cap plus rz 
के कैप ओके सपोज अल्फा इज द एंगल एंड व्हाट इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस व्हाट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस फैक्टर मॉडलेस ऑफ आर बार इज रूट ओवर आर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस आर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस आर जेड स्क्वायर Previously, what is the resultant two dimensions? Root r r x square plus r y square, na? Hypotenuse is the resultant. The magnitude of that is root r x square plus r y square. And uh, if a three dimensional vector is there, okay, x y z, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. What is the magnitude of the resultant of the vector root x square plus y square plus z square? Okay. Right. If you want to find the distance of the corner point of your room to the center, to the other other corner, diagonal diagonally opposite corner, you want to find the distance. What you will do? First, you have to find the uh, length of the hypotenuse of the floor. Na, what is the length of the hypotenuse of the floor? Root a square plus b square. And the other corner, the other you are finding the uh, diagonally opposite corners uh, of a room. Length of the diagonally opposite corners. Then uh, root over a square plus b square plus c square only na the magnitude of that uh, diagonal. Okay, here also the same thing. Root over what is the magnitude of the vector? Root over r x square plus r y square plus r z square. Uh, Suppose alpha is the angle made, angle made by vector r bar with x-axis. Then cos alpha can be written as r x divided by modulus of r bar. Cos alpha. Previously I have written r x is r cos alpha. so similarly okay and uh, beta is the angle made by the vector and beta angle made by r bar with uh, y axis what is the formula for cos beta cos beta formula cheppandi r y by modulus of r bar cos beta these are called the direction cosines cos alpha cos beta cos gamma similarly cos gamma is what what is the formula for cos gamma cos gamma is r z divided by modulus of r r bar okay what is the value of r bar along z direction okay that is uh, r z uh, r z is equal to r cos gamma we have read where gamma is the angle made by the vector with the z axis and uh, if i square these three and add i will get one what is the relation i am getting cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 because cos square means rx square by r modulus of r bar whole square the whole square of this root will go na And cos square beta means r y square divided by this without root. Hmm? So this you have to remember. For example, you are given alpha and beta, and if you are asked gamma, so if the particular vector is there, it is making angle 30 degrees and uh, 45 degrees with the x and y axis. What is the angle made by the vector with the z axis? Gamma you have to find. So what is the relation here? cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 on one, one more relation is there sin square alpha plus what is the second relation sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma is equal to even you can apply this relation because cos square is 1 minus sin square na so uh, this is 1 minus sin square beta and this is 1 minus sin square gamma and that i will get it like that okay even either this formula or that formula you can apply for finding uh, one of these unknown things if the other two alpha and beta are given what are alpha and beta and gamma alpha beta gamma are the angles made by the vector 
with the x, y and z axis respectively. So after writing this, you write these two points. Huh. So this is uh, the licensed one. So 40 minutes to cut out on one the later. So okay. Some more options we got in a chat option we have poles and poles. <laughs> so what is that poles? Something um, some more option is there. I will find if this is having any advantage. Right there. Even I can record the meeting. Right. A feature is in Munna Journal. Poles on the poles, honey. Chat chat option, but on the Munna. Hmm? Ah, I don't know, sir. Maybe license version for none can add it to use for a better. Ah, the license in the 40 minutes guy for them. Name Gonla and college gone away. Okay, and the Mundu name Gonkun per month some thousand rupees. China think got on the Microsoft Teams on the but uh, that is consuming more data. Chala eco data consume yes, and a common board can be blurry or just the And if the net is not fast, uh, we, we even tried that Teams app, but uh, many students are unable to see the board blurry. It is getting, it is getting um, because it is Google Meet. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, this, uh, this Zoom is for US, US app. China is there. The server is China. Server is China. The 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 server and the company owner is uh, American, but he is from China. Okay, mm. maybe any management has to take the decision. Google Meet, Bane, and Google Meet, Telir, and Allah. Yes, sir, my features are on there? No, Okay, I will intimate, I will, I will intimate the management, okay? We cannot kill our uh, soldiers by purchasing it. <laughs> huh? Okay, okay. Okay, then uh, we'll go for the next concept. Uh, so this is uh, this is fine, girl. and why we need to go for this um, uh, components form? Why we have to go for com addition of vectors will become easy. Addition of vectors, uh, for example, there are two vectors. Uh, we have two vectors. A bar is two uh, i cap plus four j cap. And second vector is uh, i cap plus 2j cap. And what is a bar plus b bar? a bar plus b bar is 3i cap plus 6j cap. Okay. And uh, this is the resultant. And what is the magnitude of the resultant? Magnitude of the resultant is uh, root 3 square plus rx square plus ry square. And this is 9 plus 36. This is root 45, okay? And what is the angle made units I am writing? Units. What is the angle made by the resultant with x axis? 
So angle also, if he asks, you can you should be in a position to tell. This is root 45 units, and this R, this is a uh, R X is how much? R X is three. Uh, R X is three, and R Y is six. This is six units. And what is alpha? Tan alpha you tell. What is tan alpha? Six by three. Alpha is equal to tan inverse two. That is the answer. This is the angle made by the resultant with x-axis. You have to write with the x-axis. With the y-axis, if we ask, it is tan inverse one by two. Okay. So while uh, mentioning a while discussing a vector, we have to tell the magnitude as well as direction. So what is the direction here? Direction I have to write like this: R y divided by R x, and alpha is the angle made. Is the angle made by the vector? Angle made by vector with x-axis. Okay. Then if you are telling an angle, also you are telling the direction of resultant. This is magnitude, and that is direction. So now the addition of vectors is becoming easy now. Okay. If you write uh, a vector in terms of its components. Okay, and uh, this vector is two units along x direction and uh, four units along y direction. And what is this vector? One unit along x direction and two units along y direction. Note down this. So uh, already government banned uh, all the Chinese apps. Huh? TikTok ban is in there. Example, you write. Hmm. Cos square alpha cos thirty sixty. This time I'm using this. Hmm. Write down this example. One more example. What is cos square thirty? Cos square thirty is how much? Three by four, right? Huh? Cos square sixty. Cos square sixty is one uh, by four. Okay, then you will not be getting. Okay, write down an example. If a vector r bar, find them. If a vector r bar makes angles, makes angles. Uh, 30 degrees. Uh, 30 degrees. Uh, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Uh, with x and y axis. With x and y axis. Okay. Uh, what is the angle made by it with z axis? What is the angle made by it with z axis? That is the question. So, what is the formula? Cos square thirty plus cos square forty five plus cos square gamma is equal to one. This is the formula. Okay, gamma we have to find. This is three by four plus one by two. One by root two whole square, na? Is it root three by two whole square? This is cos square gamma is equal to one. Okay, cos cos square gamma is one minus three by four minus one by two. So what is the LCM? Four is the LCM. Four minus three by four 
3 minus 2. So we are getting minus 1 by 4 cos square gamma. What is cos gamma then? Cos square gamma is nothing but uh, minus 1 by 4. Cos gamma is minus 1 by 2. So gamma should be equal to 120 degrees. Okay. So first you complete this and then this. Okay. You can take sin square also. Sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma is 2. Okay. What are this cos square alpha, cos square beta? What is this cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma? These are called the direction cosines. They will tell us about the direction of the vector. In what direction it is aligned. Okay. What is cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma? They are called direction cosines. Okay. So one more problem. There is a force of 8 newtons. Um, what can be 1 minute, 1 minute. I'm searching for a good problem. Right. So I'll just erase this. And if you have any book with you, you start doing these problems because Sunday you have the exam. Okay, if you have any doubt you have, you can keep uh, the doubt to my personal WhatsApp number. Okay. Syllabus and sir. In the ma? Syllabus. Syllabus, uh, vectors up to this components part. And uh, even basic mathematics is also there. Okay, trigonometry, you, you know about the trigonometry, na? Uh, integration and differentiation we did. So based on that also some um, formula based questions he may ask. Some rules, rule based questions also he can ask. For example, there are two functions, u and v. And what is the derivative of u and v? u, u into v, u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. Okay. Uh, even rules based questions also can be asked. What is sine 270? Simple questions. Because uh, they don't want to make uh, you afraid of the subject. At the beginning. <laughs> uh -huh. There are enormous, uh, plenty of, there will be plenty of questions if, um, if anybody can ask. But uh, they should not demoralize uh, you in the beginning itself. Huh? Uh, and then as we go on with our journey, you can you will face uh, difficult questions, right? Uh, particularly in advanced papers, right? Means it will be a little easy, okay? Uh, right, then uh, we'll go for what is the position vector? Position vector. What is meant by position vector? Position vector tells us about uh, the position of the body. Where it is, uh, for example, this is 3i plus j. This is op bar. Op bar is called the position vector. Okay, suppose this is the origin, 0, 0, and we are seeing from here, object is here. 3 units along. Uh, x direction and 1 unit along y direction. So I write op bar as 3i plus j. This is called the position vector. And uh, it will tell us about the position of the body. And what is the displacement vector? Suppose the body has gone up to here. And uh, some driving force is there. <laughs> some driving force is there. Uh, now the particle has come to this point. For suppose that point is 2, comma 
2 comma 3 it has come now the new position vector is suppose this point is q o q bar is the new position vector 2i cap plus 3j cap and this is the new position vector after some time okay and this is the displacement vector this is s bar okay uh, now from triangle of vectors I can write O Q bar as O P bar plus S bar. So if I add these two, this is the result in the closing side of the triangle taken in the reverse order. This is first vector, this is second vector, this is the third vector, closing side of the triangle taken in the reverse order. So O Q bar is what? Now can I calculate this is O P bar and this is O Q bar. Now can I calculate S bar? S bar is nothing but the displacement vector. So what is the displacement vector now? O Q bar minus O P bar. Okay. And if I subtract these two. 3 minus uh, 2 minus 3 minus I cap. 3 minus 1 plus 2 J cap. Okay. I have to subtract this, this from this. Um, Okay, this from this I have to subtract minus i cap plus 2j cap. That is that is the vector along the third second quadrant. Na? This is second quadrant minus plus like this. That is displacement vector. Okay, now you note down this position vector and displacement vector in terms of position vectors. Okay, that is how you can calculate. Note down this 